Are you a cheerful giver? This one is going to surprise you. Pastor shows you things that people give because they don't have any money. You don't want to miss this one. Stay tuned. Shalom family, this is your prophet, our Nabi, Daniel. Welcome back to Prophetic Rush TV as we reach and reach souls for heaven. Today family want to look at a video that is making its own on social media with a pastor that is exposing the things that people give at his church while we debate about giving and tithing and all different things. The fundamental thing family has to do with the art. Are you a giver? Are you somebody that is interested in advancing the kingdom of heaven? Then you will see what this man of God is saying in this video because I totally agree with what, it say, what he said. I don't know this man of God via a subscriber. I just saw this video on social media and want to create some level of awareness of what is going on. Watch this video. Drop a comment below and tell me what you think about giving in the church. Shalom family. One love. I have buttons. I have car keys. Somebody has a pin. There's a, I carry this bag here specifically to share something that touched my heart. I'll explain what's in here. And if possible, I wish somebody would come and, and, and zoom this camera. I rarely do this, but I need to do this. Can somebody come with a camera to zoom this? I want everybody to see what I have in here. And I'm going to tell you why we should zoom this. Give me a feed here. Now here, I have necklaces. I want put here. Don't put on me. Put. Give me this, this feed here. Yes, I have buttons. I have car keys. Somebody has a pin. Most of them are buttons. Somebody, I think, left a house key. These are not missing items. These are not missing items. Somebody removed this, I think, from their hair. And they broke it. All these are buttons. Let me tell you why I needed to show you this. This is a zip. Now, when we tell people to give, some people don't come with anything. And they pluck their buttons because they love God. They pluck their zips because they, are, they love God. They pluck their earrings because they love God. Because they know they don't want to go in the house of God empty-handed. These people give more than some of the people who give millions. That is why I don't put value on how much a man has given in this ministry. But I place value on the heart that gives. Because a person walked on this ground one day and they didn't have a coin. And they chose to destroy their blouse and place a demand on God. I came to pray for those people who gave this. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, let it be known by whoever I'm praying for that this is a humbling sacrifice. And I pray and may those people never lack any good thing. For anybody who ever gave a button, a zip because you didn't have money, I have prayed that may the mantle of wealth settle on your life. May God separate you 
May God consecrate you. May you not only build wealth that men can't define, but may God build a kingdom through you. Power of the Holy Ghost! My heart it beats for Precious Jesus Some deep in love with you, Lord. You know, these are the people who provoke me to righteousness. Some of you just get a pocket change. In this ministry, we don't force people to give. I have never manipulated or even emphasized giving. When you just tell people I'm blessing your offerings and a man takes off their button, they remind me of the widow with the might. God bless you. Hallelujah. Allow me to bless our offerings. May my God supply all your needs according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. And all saints said,